Hi guys, a little bit of a follow up video to my last one. Today I'm going to be talking about my personal photography setup that I use in the parks. And I'm also going to throw in a few more recommendations for what I think could be useful when you're taking photos in the parks. So let's get right into it. Let's go. Rainy adventure here at Epcot. So my quick tip is to go for a standard ticket instead of a park hopper. That way you're spending all time at the park. And Pots are in the oven, looking good. Our chili. So for my personal setup, I've got one camera that I use for taking photos. It's the Nikon D7200. You can see it's already got one of the lenses attached to it. This is a 70 to 300 millimeter lens. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But this camera is a very, very high functioning camera. It gets the job done and then some. It's got two SD card slots. So if you want, you can go ahead and have both your SD cards in your camera. And with that, that allows you to take as many photos as you want while you're in the park. So for taking photos in the parks, I've got three separate lenses that I use. You guys have already seen one of them. It's my long range telephoto lens. I'm going to kind of go in order of the least used lens all the way up to the one that I use the most. So the one that I use the least is this 18 to 55 millimeter lens. I just don't use it as often because a lot of the things that I'm taking photos of, especially in the parks, are sometimes a little further away. So I want to be able to capture that detail from further away. That's where the third lens is going to come into play. But this lens is very good if you're trying to get close-ups of things. It's very close up when it starts and then you can zoom it in as well. It goes up to 55, which is not bad. Uh, if you're using this lens, you'll definitely be wanting to use it for things like taking photos of people in front of the castle, like with your friends. If you're wanting to just get basic photos of the outside of rides, anything like that, that's what this lens will be really good for. And then moving on to my next lens, this is going to be a 50 millimeter fixed lens. So this lens, to put it in the basic terms, it's kind of like portrait mode on an iPhone. So it works very well. That you don't zoom in or out with it at all. It's just fixed at the one setting. So I use this especially for capturing portraits in the parks. It's really good if you want to get some high quality portraits. Is if you want to have your friends in front of the castle and you want the castle to be behind them but you want your friend or whoever you're taking the photo of to be like definitely the subject and the spotlight of the photo use a lens like this it's going to be fantastic you'll capture so much great detail in the foreground of the photo while still having that nice background in it as well all right so the last lens that i use is a 70 to 300 millimeter lens this lens is my go-to for long range photos it's a telephoto lens so if you're standing on Main Street and you're standing back a little further and you want to get a shot of the castle with a little bit of the shops there, you'll use this lens. Even if you're standing all the way back by the entrance, you'll still be able to capture the photo of the castle in great detail with it. It goes very, very far with its distance. And this is what I also use for capturing photos like the one that I've got a Tower of Terror and photos for a, at a distance from Animal Kingdom. This is a very good lens for that, and I highly recommend it, especially if you're wanting to have a good lens for longer range photos. All right, another key, very important component of my setup, I don't have any with me right now, they're all sitting out, but uh, having SD cards and having backup batteries are extremely important, because you can have all the lenses in the world, you can have the best lenses, the best camera setup and everything, but if you don't have the proper SD cards and you don't have the proper batteries, you're gonna get nowhere with the photos. So be sure, I always make sure, if you're carrying a bag with you, whether it's a camera bag or just a backpack to the parks, have a backup battery outside of the one that's in your camera and have a backup SD card as well. And I always recommend using at least a 16 gigabyte SD card. You can go bigger than that, a little bit more. You just don't wanna go smaller than that. Otherwise, you'll run out of the room a lot faster. It's just like running out of space on your phone with it. You don't wanna have only so many gigabytes of space when you know you're gonna be taking a lot of photos. My final recommendation, I personally have not used them in the parks, but I highly recommend them. If you're able to, bring a tripod with you into the park. Like I said last week in the video, as long as it's no longer than six feet and when it's uh, collapsed down, if it fits in your bag, you're good to go. That's straight from Disney's website. 
Using a tripod will just help you get some more stable shots, especially in Animal Kingdom where the animals could be moving around. You want to be able to get a nice, crisp, steady shot with that. And if you're using a telephoto lens, the further you zoom in, the shakier it's going to be. So if you put the camera itself on a tripod, that's going to take out that shakiness and that's going to lead to some really, really nice photos. So use a tripod, bring backup batteries, backup SD cards, and use some really nice lenses and you're going to have a great photography time down in Disney World. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe right here on YouTube. You can do that by clicking the red button down below and clicking the thumbs up. Be sure to also click the bell notification for any time we get a video posted, you'll get a notification about it. Be sure to also follow us on our social media, including on Instagram, at The Magical Adventurers, so you can always stay up to date with everything new that we're posting and that we're sharing with you guys. Looking forward to seeing you in the next Magical Adventure. Bye!